Hello and welcome to this quick tour on how to use the orchestrator as a test framework. The JD Edwards Enterprise One orchestrator is a key component of your JD Edwards digital platform. The Enterprise One orchestrator changes how you use your JD Edwards Enterprise One system. It can transform the Enterprise One system from a transaction-based system of records into an ERP that provides a dynamic reflection of your real-time business operations. An ERP that participates in your business. An ERP with a pulse. The orchestrator enables your Enterprise One system to integrate with other transformational technologies such as Internet of Things, Cloud Services, Robotic Process Automation, Mobile Applications, chatbots and alternative user interfaces. Using the orchestrator, you can significantly improve your operations through notifications with action links, simplified processes, automated system administration, scheduled processes and no-code extensions. The orchestrator assertion framework enables yet another usage pattern, the ability to use orchestrator as a testing tool. Using the assertion framework, you can not only verify that an application runs without generating errors, but you can also verify that the application creates the output values that you expect. Assertion is the name we give to the process wherein we test a value that an orchestration produces against an expected value. An assertion is simply a comparison between an expected value, which is stored within the orchestration, and an actual value which is generated at runtime. The expected value and the actual value are compared by operators such as equal to, greater than, less than, and so on. If the value generated at runtime passes the assertion, the test is successful. You can define assertions on data returned from any step of an orchestration in addition to orchestration inputs and variables. Note that the processing of the orchestration and testing against assertions have two distinct outcomes. It is possible that an orchestration completes successfully, but the assertion still fails because the assertion did not produce one or more asserted values. In this quick tour, you will see how to use the process recorder to capture the process of entering a sales order and also capture the expected values, that is, the assertions, for that transaction. Then, you will see how to build an orchestration to create a sales order and test the assertions. For this quick tour, let us suppose that you want to build an automated test to validate that the sales order entry application is working correctly, including advanced pricing rules for volume discounts. We will create an orchestration to automate this test and we will use assertions to validate that the values are correct. Let's access the Enterprise One web client. Now, let's start the process recorder. Next, we will access the sales order entry application and add a new sales order. This item has advanced pricing rules for volume discounts. By entering two different quantities for the same item, we expect to see a different unit price for each line. This difference in unit price helps in the validation of advanced pricing. Next, we will select the order summary tab and then expand the written values section in the process recorder. Notice the capture assertions option. We will turn this on to capture the assertion values in each field. Let's click order total tax and invoice total in the order summary tab and click the column headers for quantity ordered, item number, unit price and extended price in the sales order detail grid. These are the values we expect the orchestration to produce whenever it runs. Resume the process recorder. Now, let's cancel the order because it is not necessary to save the order for these validations. Stop the process recorder and save the recording with the name Assert SO Entry.
Now let's move on to the second part of this picture where we will create an orchestration from the assert SO entry form request we just created and then test the assertion values. In the orchestrator studio, let's create a new orchestration with the name assert SO entry. Add the form request we created earlier. Now let's add the input of the form request to the orchestration. Select auto map to map the transformations and delete P42101 underscore version mapping from the available values drop down menu so that the default version can be used. Let's delete the P42101 underscore version row from the inputs and values window also. Now let's edit the output. Enable the Select All toggle in the Define Outputs tab to select all the available output. Click Load Assertions from the step icon in the Assert SO Entry step. The assertion values that we captured in the process recorder are now loaded into the Test Value column. The three values from the Sales Order header are displayed in the fields. The four values from the Sales Order detail are represented by the number 1 indicating that values for a single row of data are loaded. Although you captured the assertion values while using the process recorder and those values are currently stored in the assert SO entry form request, the values on this define assertions page are the values against which the orchestrator will actually evaluate the output. By clicking load assertions from the step icon, we copied the assertions that are stored in the form request and loaded them into this page. You can manually add or edit values on this page instead of loading them from a service request. Now let's access the Run Orchestrations window. We will select the raw button and provide a JSON object for the orchestration inputs. Notice that these inputs for Sold to, Business Unit, Item Number and Quantity are the same values that we used when we captured the assertion values. If we use the same inputs, we should expect the same outputs when the orchestration runs, right? Now, let's enable evaluate assertions and run the orchestration. You can see the message 7 out of 7 passed and you can expand the assert SO entry step to review the 7 tests. We did in fact get the values that we expected. We can click save assertions to export the assertion results to a local file. This file is useful as a record of the results of the assertion test. Now, let's understand how we can add assertions for another detailed row. In the previous task, we used the process recorder to capture assertion values for the header fields and for a single detailed row of a sales order. Then, we ran the orchestration to evaluate results against those values. In this task, let's add assertions manually for a second detailed row. We will intentionally add incorrect values to see how an assertion fails and then change the values so that the assertion succeeds. Access the Define Assertions tab to add additional assertions for quantity ordered. We can see that the assertion count for the quantity ordered is updated to 2. Disable the Select Toggle of Item Number to exclude that assertion from being processed. Now. Let's add additional assertions for unit price and extended price. Set the operator to is equal to and enter the test value as 1 for each assertion so that the assertions fail. Access the Run Orchestrations window and enable Evaluate Assertions. We will use the same input that we used in the previous example. Now we can see that 7 out of 9 passed. We can expand the step to see the failure message for unit price and extended price that were added in row 2. Now let's update the orchestration assertions for unit price and extended price to match the actual values. When we test the orchestration again, 
we can see that all the nine tests are successful. In a real world scenario, what might cause the assertion to fail? Perhaps there was an unexpected change to the item's price, or perhaps an unexpected change in a tax rate or a currency exchange rate, or perhaps there was a change to the advanced pricing rules. In each of these scenarios, the orchestration would complete successfully, yet the outcome would be incorrect. And that's why assertions are so important for verifying the complete integrity of your system. And how you might use assertions to verify the integrity of your system? You might schedule an orchestration to run periodically in your production environment to ensure that it is running as expected. Or you might capture assertions from a load good environment and run them against a recently updated test environment. Or you might run the same orchestration with assertions against two environments to see if they are the same. There are many ways you can employ assertions to validate that your system is not only running without errors, but is also producing the same output you expect. In this brief demonstration, you saw how you can define expected values for test cases and investigate deviations. For more information on orchestrations, visit us at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.